So the Baltimore Ravens getting a new uniform update. Marlon Humphrey said Rashad Bateman got moved. We got updates on the Baltimore Ravens salary cap. Lamar Jackson going overseas and a lot more. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss this and other updates just like it. And leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel so much. So in the first update that so many Ravens fans have been waiting for and asking for for a very long time, literally for years, especially after watching team after team after team after team get these different jersey updates, get these different uniform updates, get new helmets and all that. We just saw the Houston Texans with a new fire helmet, which I love, by the way. A lot of these new uniforms don't really look that good, but the Houston Texans new helmet is fire. But anyway... So many Ravens fans have been wondering and waiting, when are the Baltimore Ravens going to upgrade their uniform? When are they going to make any changes to it, any alternates to it? Because we got that all black. That all black is nice. That all black is a beautiful thing. But we want more because everybody else getting more and Ravens just, they've been staying in pet. But in this update from UniWatch, they gave us some insight. It says, source, the Ravens are adding a new alternate helmet. Let's read the report from Paul Lucas. He said, while we wait for today's Broncos unveiling, which has come out by now, especially by the time you've seen this video, and they were not very impressive. It, it was just uh, some basic changes, nothing crazy uh, and nothing spectacular. And see, that's the thing with Ravens uniform, because I know a lot of Ravens fans have been wanting the Ravens to get new uniforms, and I get it, but at the same time, I don't want them to switch their uniform and go to something that's super ugly like a lot of these teams have. But anyway, continuing with the article, he says, I have some other NFL news to share with you. About 10 days ago, I heard from a source who said he'd been shown all of the new uniforms for 2024. He didn't have any photos or other visuals, but he described what he'd seen. And one of those descriptions was that the Ravens are adding an alternate helmet featuring the secondary logo shown above. And it's the old school logo that you can see in the thumbnail. He said, I believe this to be accurate for two reasons. First, all, uh, first, all the NFL unveilings and confirmed leaks that we've seen so far have matched up with what this source uh, told me 10 days ago so he got a reliable source that's always nice to have i wish i did but i don't i'm an nfl outsider no sources no plugs no connects at all anyway he said and second the ravens president sashi brown said this on april 2nd and i guess he made sure he said it on april 2nd not april 1st because he didn't want it to be an april fool's joke but anyway so sashi brown said this we have some stuff that's coming we feel like we have really classic jerseys and i think the team did a great job when we've had some minor modifications so we're really cautious about making changes. The optionality that you see, particularly in other leagues with different types of jerseys, color rushes being tried, we're exploring some things with some of the alternative jerseys. But as for now, we're really happy with the way our jerseys stand out. And I agree with that. You could tinker with it, you could mess with it, and they've done some things like we remember the mustard pants. A lot of people weren't a fan of those, but it was like, oh, something is better than nothing, I guess. But you, you don't want to fix something that's not broken. But anyway, continuing. He says, uh, now Brown was talking about jerseys, not helmets. But as we all know, and to my endless frustration, a disturbing number of people use the term jersey as a synonym for uniform. Uh, based on that unfortunate tendency and on my source's 100% reliability so far. So he's letting it be known again. His source be on point. Uh, I believe that the alternative jersey change Brown was referring to will actually turn out to be an alternative an alternate helmet, excuse me. But what color will this new helmet be? Per my source. So this is the helmet. This is what it's supposed to look like. Per my source. I think it is going to be purple. So a purple helmet, but I can't remember for sure. So you got a little murky on. Now you want to start forgetting stuff. But anyway, uh, he said he think it would be a purple helmet. I believe this this part, the nice part right here. I believe it will have a metallic gold face mask. So, ooh, that could be nice. That could be really nice. So a purple helmet. So it's going to stand out. Imagine a purple helmet with the, the old school logo and a gold face mask. So continuing, he said the main thing he remembers seeing is the alternate logo. So the logo is there. So it will be the previous logo, that older logo, not the normal Ravens logo that we see right now. So right now we got the Ravens logo with the bird kind of looking at you from the side. But the new logo or the older logo is the bird looking at you straight up. Like, it ain't giving you no side eye. He says, my source doesn't have any info about when this helmet will be revealed, but if anyone knows more about this, you know what to do. Anonymity, anonymity assured, of course. I hate that word. It's always a tongue twister. So anyway, the Baltimore Ravens, with all that being said, they are expected to get at least some new helmets. Now, will it just be a new helmet? Because have we seen any team only do a new helmet because like i said earlier the texans they got a new helmet but they also got 
new jerseys as well and it ain't no major change or anything like that but with the jerseys with the helmet it's, again it's a big change but with the jerseys it's again basic stuff but will the ravens finally finally follow suit with everybody else and get new jerseys as well only time will tell but speaking of jerseys marlon humphrey Marlon Humphrey is known to be quite the troll, and he's known to have quite the takes on social media. Um, but one of my friends, they sent me this this morning, and they were like, hey, what, what is Marlon Humphrey really trying to say? Is he spilling something? Is he leaking something that ain't out there yet? Or is he just, just the words that he used and made it confusing? Well, what is he saying? Well, Marlon Humphrey on his Instagram story from today, he was in the Baltimore Ravens locker room. And his caption read the following. They moved Bateman. Gus left. The block took a hit, but we will build back stronger. And he was showing locker room. He showed one empty locker with no name on it. Then he showed some other people's lockers. Marlon Humphrey. Initially, when, when my guy first sent me this, I was thinking, hmm. Nah, Marlon Humphrey, he just trolling. Could we know Marlon Humphrey? He known the troll. And he the way that he worded it could make it say, oh yeah, he just playing with Ravens fans. Well, cause cause he's on Twitter a lot. He knows what Ravens fans are talking about. He interacts with Ravens fans sometimes. He don't really respond too much, but he sees a lot of what's going on. So I was thinking, oh yeah, he could be just playing with Ravens fans emotion. But then I thought, hold up, wait a minute. The way he worded it actually it makes it sound like it could be something. Because the way he listed everything, again, the, they moved Bateman. So did they move Bateman's locker room? Or is he going to be in another team's locker room completely? But anyway, he said, they moved Bateman. Gus left. The block took a hit. But we will build back stronger. I don't know what his locker situation was previously. So it's, a, it's possible that he's talking about, all right, Marlon Humphrey's locker room was right next to Rashad Bateman's before. But they moved them. I believe they said they were doing something where they're going to have all the same position groups all next to each other in the locker room this year for the Baltimore Ravens, I believe. Um, so he could be saying that. And maybe he was next to Rashad Bateman and he was next to Gus Edwards. Maybe that's it. If y'all know, please let me know in the comments. Let all of us know in the comments section. But they moved Bateman. Gus left. The block took a hit. So is the block. He's speaking about the row of lockers that are in his uh, vicinity? Or is he just talking about the Ravens in general? No clue. I guess we'll see over the next couple of days, possibly. Uh, Lamar Jackson, he was overseas in Germany. And we saw the videos and the pictures and stuff for him uh, meeting all these Ravens fans and him uh, playing soccer with the kids, well, football with the kids, um, just having a good time. And a lot of people commented how they said they, they see that old 2019 Lamar Jackson speed uh, on that soccer field or football field. My apologies. Um, and he looked good. He looked good. He looked smooth. Like, okay, Lamar, two sport athlete. I'm sure Lamar Jackson could play a million different sports uh, if he chose to. Because we done seen him in Hollywood shooting the basketball sometimes. I say, hold up now. Lamar, you got, you got a little something there. And in Hollywood. Hollywood gonna play too now. Hollywood got him a little jumper. But anyway, um, with Lamar Jackson, I am just very, very glad that at least 99% of us are at a much different place with Lamar Jackson than people were before. There's still some people still thinking the same st stuff from before, but what I mean when I say that, um, we remember Lamar Jackson with the fun day. There was a fun day a couple of years ago. And Shannon Sharp was like, why is Lamar Jackson out there running on that concrete? Why is he playing with them kids? Why are they giving them kids an unforgettable experience that they'll never forget for the rest of their lives? Why is he being positive in his community? Why is he doing that? For what? And Shannon Sharp made this big, huge deal about it. And, I mean, really ever since then, Shannon Sharp has uh, the way that he speaks about Lamar Jackson. Well, we, we already know. We ain't really got to get into that. But um, it just... It, it, it was that uh, there was the, the speedboat thing, the way he's playing football on the beach, and then he uh, he he dodged the speedboat because again, Lamar just showing that that amazing agility that can he could just turn it on like that. He can't turn it off whether he's playing football or not. The agility is there. Him making people miss is there. He made the speedboat miss too. Um, but with him, if he's having extracurricular activities. Uh, a lot of people would flip out. A lot of people would trip. A lot of people would go crazy. A lot of people would just be, oh, why is he doing that? Why is he having fun? Why is he enjoying his life for what? 
Um, but that was before he got the contract. But now, since he's gotten it, I, I only saw one complaint from a Ravens fan uh, about Lamar Jackson playing football with those kids. So we done made a lot of progress, which is a beautiful thing. But speaking of progress, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, uh, we got some progress, a progressive update on their salary cap. Uh, and that came from none other than Brian McFarlane, who is always on point with that. He said the following, the Ravens enter draft week with 7.2 mil in available cap space. Okay, so we're working with a little over 7 mil heading into draft week, but you need money to sign those draft picks, right? So we have 7.2 mil, but what will we have after we sign all our draft picks? Well, let's look. He said, uh, with the present nine draft picks, the Ravens will have a rookie allocation cap of 9.8 mil. Oh, my goodness. So 9.8 mil is over 7.2 mil. So these draft picks, they're going to take all our cap space? Well, let's see his breakdown. He said, but due to the rule of 51, they will only need around 2.1 mil in overall cap space to fit their picks into the overall cap. Whew. Big relief there because that, that looks scary at first. So um, based off of the picks that we currently have, that's subject to change because the Ravens could have less picks if they trade up or trade around. Or they could have more if they trade back or possibly make a move with somebody. We'll see. But right now, um, they will only need around 2.1 mil in overall cap space to fit their picks into the overall cap. So, cool. Thanks. Shout out to Brian McFarlane for always keeping Ravens fans updated with their salary cap information. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. And he does it in a phenomenal way. And certainly last but not least. I got Keith Mitchell, uh, who we love and hope that he gets well very, very soon because he is the perfect pairing uh, with Derrick Henry. Oh, my goodness. Just imagine the two of them. Uh, and I really hope we get to see it this year because um, this is a strong possibility that Derrick Henry is not a Baltimore Raven next year uh, because the way his contract set up is pretty, pretty much a one year deal. Um, and Ravens could they could cut him next year and there will be minimal penalties or anything. Anyway, um, I just hope that we get to see it this year. Like that's literally thunder and lightning. It, it, it is a perfect pairing, Derrick Henry with the power, but some underrated speed. Like he ain't no burner, but once he get downhill going, hey, there and Derrick Henry is smooth too, man. Yeah, that, that that boy. It's like when you look at him, you think, oh yeah, big bruising running back. He's huge. He gonna truck somebody, which he will, but. Henry pretty smooth with it too now So that's, that's gonna be fun to watch But Keaton Mitchell, man, that dude That's a burner right there That's the definition of a burner That man is probably Maybe the fastest running back that the Baltimore Ravens ever had I'm thinking about all the, the different running backs and stuff obviously Ray Rice, Jamal Lewis They weren't burners or anything like that um, Think about Musa Smith He wasn't no burner But Willis McGay, he wasn't no burner Um J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill. Justice Hill is fast now, but Keaton Mitchell faster. Um, but, yeah, he's probably the fastest running back that the Baltimore Ravens ever had, I will say. I'm trying to think of somebody else, but anyway, um, he is switching. Now, we had heard about this before. I think he made a mention of it before, but he let it be known it's official because um, he showed a picture uh, of his jerseys, and he said that he got to put his number two jersey up on the wall as well for the Baltimore Ravens. So he is letting us know that he is making a switch to number two. And I guarantee, because people may forget, because people got recency bias and whatnot. So early on, the jersey might not sell like crazy. But once Keith Mitchell gets back, oh, yeah, that jersey will be off the shelves, I guarantee you. Team, keep it clean. Uh, I appreciate y'all. hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications all the way on. And leave a like on the video so you don't miss anything. And YouTube can, can continue to recommend this channel to you. And because it helps out a whole lot. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let's have a great week. It's draft week. And we'll see you at the live stream on Thursday night. Night one of the draft. We are out.